All right, Dreams by the Cranberries starts with great big E major chord using every finger except our pointer finger. And we're putting our pick on string six. Let me get back here. And they hold that for two bars, and then we're going to slide up so that our ring and pinky are on fret seven on the same strings, our middle fingers on strings three at fret six, and we're going to add your pointer finger at fret five. We're going to strum all the strings, and then we're going to move up to so that your pointer finger is at fret seven with the same chord shape. And then we're going to move your pointer finger to fret seven, string five, and your ring and pinky over to strings three and four at fret nine. Put your oh, and you can strum still from string six. And then in the beginning, before the vocals, oh, before the arpeggio starts, they do a quick rhythm there. Um, then the arpeggio pattern starts, and we can make our E major chord like we did in Rebel Rebel. And I forgot to write this in the tab, but I'm going to start with an open string six before I move to string two. So we have six, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, three, four, two. And then I'm going to let go of my middle finger and have start with our picking with an open string five. So five, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, three, four, two. And I'm going to let go and make this B7 chord and start my picking on string five. And so I go five, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, three, four, two. And then I'm going to let go there on that last open second string. Make our E major chord again and go six, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, three, four, two. And I'm going to let go. Then we go to our palm muted part where we have our pointer finger at fret 12 on string 6 and our third finger on fret 14 on string 5 and we go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and you can hear how it sounds like the strings have a cold so so there's no mute but we don't want that we're going to mute all these strums our second chord is fret 7 on the same strings and fret seven on string five and fret five on string six. Two and three and four and one and two and three and move up two frets and two and three and four and one and two and three and move up to our first chord two and three and four and repeat that and then we repeat all of them. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and and down to the A power chord, and one, and two, and three, and B power chord, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and back to the E power chord, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and then we have our next arpeggio part. A major 7 arpeggio. We're going to let go on that and make the B7. And let go and play the E. And then we're going to play our big chords like we did at the beginning that we want to use these fingers for. One, two, three, slide up to A. Two, three, four, Two, slide up to B, and two, three, four, one, two, make the E power chord. And this time, two, three, four, we won't have our short, sharp, shocked, bop, bop. We're just going to hold it. And then we're going to go to the bridge, which is, which is part E on the tab, and this is a G power, G major chord. So we have three, 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 and two. Two, three, four, hold, two, three, and make a C chord. Oh, like this, not like that. Two, three, four, one, two, back to the G, and two, three, four, one, two, 
two, back to the C, and two, three, four, and then we're going to go back to our power chords, and, and so on, okay? Have fun.